Hello students. In this video, we're going to uh, sketch a linear graph given an equation, which we've been doing uh, in previous videos. But the problem here is if you look at the equation, sketch the graph of 2x plus 3y equals 6, well, we don't actually have a way of doing that easily. All the equations we've been working with so far have a form that looks like this y equals some number times x plus some number and that number turns out that it's the y-intercept so we can plot the uh, point on the y-axis this is the gradient we can use that to plot a second point and once we have the two points we can draw the line that joins them but when the equation is given in this form what we would have to do at the moment is rewrite it to make y the subject and then we get the gradient and y-intercept and continue from there. Well, it turns out there's an easier way to sketch the graph of equations when they're given in this form here. And we'll show you what that is. Okay, so here I've got a straight line. And what I'm really interested in, um, in this uh, at the moment anyhow, is the x and y <coughs> intercepts. Excuse me. So the x-intercept is where the line crosses the x-axis. And one important thing to know about that is at the x-intercept, the y-coordinate is always zero. So we actually know the value for y at that point just there. And we can figure out what the x-coordinate is by substituting y, oh, sorry, zero in for y into the equation and then simply solving for x. And normally that's a pretty, a pretty easy step. Similarly, where the graph crosses the y-axis is called the y-intercept. Once again, it's got an x-coordinate, in this case, of 0. And we can figure out what the y-coordinate is by substituting 0 into the equation and solving for y. And once we figured out what the coordinates of the x and y x, uh, sorry, the x and y intercepts are, we can then sketch the graph. So to summarize, here's what we're going to do. To find the x-intercept, we substitute 0 for y and solve the equation. To find the y-intercept, we substitute 0 for x and solve the equation. So let's go ahead and do one, and you'll see how easy it actually is. Okay, first off, I'm just going to copy the equation. 2x plus 3y equals 6. And we want to do a sketch of that. So the old way of doing it, we have to rearrange the formula to make y the subject. And from that, we can then work out the uh, y-intercept and the gradient. But an easier way to do it is to say, well, anywhere on the x-axis, y equals 0. And anywhere on the y-axis, x equals 0. So let's go ahead and find out where this graph crosses the x-axis by letting y equal 0. So 2 times x plus, well, 3 times 0 is 3. I'll use the dot for multiply. That just goes to 0. And we end up with 2x equals 6. So that term effectively cancels out because it's becoming plus 0, which doesn't change anything. And then divide both sides by 2. And we found the x-intercept to be 3. So. There's our first point on the graph. And now we can do something similar to find where it crosses the y-axis. So the idea here is we let x equal 0. Now, I'm going to save a bit of writing this time. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 3y is just 3y equals 6 divide both sides by 3 and we get y equals 2. So when x is 0, 
y equals 2, and there it is. There's the two points on the line. Let's go ahead and sketch that like so, and I'll extend it back in the other direction like so. And there it is. So instead of having to solve this equation, make y the subject, we effectively we just had to solve the equation 2x equals 6 and 3y equals 6, which is obviously a much easier task. Okay, here's one for you to try. So I'd like you to stop the video. Um, there's the equation up there. See if you can sketch the graph of that equation by first finding the x and y intercepts. Okay, let's see how you went on that. And I've got it once again. Change back to my pen tool. So I'll write the equation x plus 4y equals 8. And again, on the x axis, y is always equal to 0 anywhere on that line. And on the y axis, anywhere on that line, whoops, uh, yeah, x equals 0. That's all good. So we're going to start by saying let y equals 0 and find out where it crosses the x-axis. Well, this is even easier than the previous one. All of that goes to 0. 4 times 0 is 0. x plus 0 is x. And there's the answer without solving any calculations at all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's where it crosses the x-axis and let x equals 0 and that goes to 0 leaving just the equation 4y equals 8 that term drops out divide both sides by 4 and the y-intercept is y equals 2 so there's our two points let's draw the straight line that joins those like so and let's extend it back in the other direction like so and there's the graph of x plus 4y equals 8. So in summary if the equation is given in this form where the x and y are both on the same side of the equal sign this method here called the two intercept method is a much faster way of sketching the graph than having to rewrite that in the form y equals mx plus c. And there we go. That's uh, that video finished.